Assalamu alaikum friends my name is Muhammad Yunus and I am Odo technical developer in this video we are going to talk about how to add a new field in a pivot view or the analysis report that we generate through a query so let me show you what I am talking about for example in the sales module if we go to the reporting menu and click the sales here we can see the analysis report so this report is dynamically generated using the uh, postgres query and it can be displayed in different uh, views like uh, this uh, line chart and then this bar chart and then this uh, pie chart and we can also change the view from here like to a uh, pivot view and then uh, analyze the data so there are multiple uh, reports available in Udo in this format uh, like if you go to the invoicing and then uh, click the reporting here and click the invoices here so here we can see the report uh, that is generated dynamically using the uh, postgres query it's the same uh, way it is generated in the project module if we click here it can be generated here so for uh, then uh, so for the newbies uh, like someone who just started Udo so this is just a headache for them to add a new field in this model and uh, dynamically compute the data for this uh, for example if we go to the sales module and let me open this report and uh, change the view to pivot view and here let me just uh, add something uh, like uh, group it on the basis of the payment terms so i cannot see the payment terms here but uh, if we go to the sales order uh, we can see here the payment terms and like here we can see the payment terms so if uh, someone requests you to add this payment term field on this uh, analysis report view so uh, this is a bit of headache for uh, the uh, newer ones so in this video i am go just going to show this and it is really easy to do this uh, first of all you will have to go uh, copy this model name like this and then uh, go to odoo and then search for this model so let me just uh, take here and then search for the model which is sales dot report so here first of all you will have to understand the structure of this model so here you can see this is the model definition and let me open this file so these are all the fields that has been added and one thing uh, you need to keep in mind that if you don't know how to add this dynamic report uh, we have already a video about this like uh, how to create a pivot and a, uh, and q review uh, like something like this so you can just find this video on our youtube channel and in that video we have discussed uh, everything about the creation of this report so these are all the fields that has been added in this uh, view and uh, here this is the query uh, different methods has been added for this purpose to design the query this is actually the init method which generates this uh, view for us and here uh, if you want to add the new field uh, so we can uh, inherit this uh, model and then we can write this method and if you want to add it in the group by we can inherit this one so if you don't know how to do for newer method if uh, the structure of the model is uh, different from this one so in this report this is the way it has been designed but if you are want to do for some other reports then first of all you will have to check in default or do the whether this model has been inherited or not so for this purpose um, you just need to copy this model and let me just paste uh, in the search and then let me change this to inherit so i want to check if this model has been inherited already and a new field has been added or not so this is uh, just uh, inside the us and it has been totally replaced with this one and then this is the model where it is inherited and a new field has been added like warehouse id so this is just a simple way you can add a new field uh, like this for example we are adding the uh, we are adding the uh, uh, so for example so uh, is in our case we are going to add uh, payment terms so let me just copy this code and go to our, our module which is od sales custom and in the models we will add a new file like sales report 
py and then here we will have to import uh, models fields and api and then paste this code so here the model has been inherited so the new field name is uh, payment terms like this payment terms id you can see like you can add like this and here you will have to add the model the relational model uh, account uh, dot payment dot term and here you will have to change the name to payment terms like this so this is we have added the new field and here we will have to just replace it with this one like this and then this and then this one so this is uh, the simple way that uh, we have uh, added this field uh, to this uh, pivot view and its value will be uh, computed automatically and then we will have to add this file inside the init uh, sale report uh, sales report like this so let me just start udo service and then uh, we will have to go to udo apps and then upgrade the module so after the module upgrade you will be able to see uh, the change and the effect the new field will be available in the group by section so let me go to apps search for the module and then upgrade this module so if you uh, if you want to download this module this module is available on github or uh, the link of the github is in the description of the video so you can just download from there so let me refresh this uh, screen and then let me just uh, go here and it search for the payment terms so you can see the payment terms has been added here so let me click here so uh, payment term have not been set for any of the sales order so let me just set for any of them for example this one and let me set it immediate payment and then let me go to the reporting section again uh, to see the change and go to the pivot view and let me just search and let me group it by payment terms so here you can see immediate payment terms the a amount is this one and this is total untaxed amount so this way you can add a new field in the analysis uh, view and the similar way for example if you go to the invoice sync and then go to the uh, analysis report so first of all we will have to copy this method uh, this model and uh, then we will have to search whether this model has been inherited already or not so let me just check it here like this one this has been inherited here and two more fields has been added in this uh, view and here let me go, scroll down so here you can see this way you can add the fields and you can just copy this whole code and you can replace you your own you can add your own field and replace it ev everywhere like this so this is just a simple way you can add uh, uh, fields and the same way you can do for the project uh, analysis report here you can see let me just show you and uh, copy this model and then go to Odoo add-ins and here search for it and here you can see this is the uh, model definition and here this is the select statement so you will have to inherit this you will have to write this uh, and then the group by and here if we go to the inherit so these four fields has been added uh, in the Odoo default so you can just copy the same format uh, and add your fields the same way that it has been added here so you can get a lot of help from the Odoo default code so if you don't know the format and how it will work then you just need to go search inside the Odoo default add-ons and you will be able to find a way and you will be able to understand how it has it will work so thank you guys for watching this video if you enjoyed this video please give a huge thumbs up and also don't forget to subscribe to our channel also click the bell icon so that you can get the updates of the upcoming videos thank you